Hi everyone, very good morning. So today we are here at day 11. I hope that you're all ready with your mat and you're done with your warm up. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let us start today's session with a mild movement, which is going to be our mountain walking. As you already know that mountain walking is so important. By now, I'm sure you would have seen some difference in the flexibility as well. So let us start with Parvatasan. Keep your palm down. Lift your knee up. Stretch your spine up. Now slowly try to move your heels down and down. One by one. Now from here, let us start walking forward slowly. One, two, three, four, five, and you're here. Hold, breathe in, breathe out, walk back. One, two, three, four, and five. Complete spine stretch and knee straight. Tuck your tummy in. Keep your breath long. Start walking forward. One, two, three, four, five complete forward bend from here one two three four five a nice stretch to the back knee straight breathe in breathe out now from here we are going to take our right leg forward to lizard posture you can use the knee pad Keep the knee down. Now, open up your chest. Look up. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, drop your left elbow down. Right elbow down if you can. Stay there. Three, two, one. Come back to center. Lift your knee up, come to Parvatasana again and now move the knee pad, left leg forward, right knee down, front leg 90 degrees, open up your shoulder, look up, inhale, exhale, drop your elbow down, other elbow down, hold three, two, one, come back to center, open up your shoulder, look up, hold five, four, three, two, one, now lift your knee up, take your leg back to Parvatasan once again, now slowly keep the knee pad a little to the side, we are going to use it again in the next round. Now slowly start walking again. One, two, three, four, five. And here you are with a good forward fold. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel your glutes and hamstrings being stretched. Let's walk back again. One. Two, three, four, five. Complete spine stretch. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Now get the knee pad inside. Get your right leg next to the right palm outside. Drop your left knee down. Open up your chest. Look forward. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Now let's drop our elbow down. One by one, five, four, 
थ्री टू वन कम बैक टू सेंटर लिफ्ट यू नी अप लेग बैक टू फुल प्लैंक अदर लेग फॉरवर्ड स्लोली मूव द नी पैड टू द अदर नी ओपन अप योर शोल्डर लेट्स ड्रॉप अर एल्बो डाउन फर्स्ट होल्ड फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन कम बैक टू द पाम ओपन अप योर चेस्ट लुक अप Lift your knee up. Take your leg back to Parvatasan again. Move the knee pad to the side. We have one more round to complete. Spine straight. Hold five, four, three. Give your best. Give the maximum stretch. Two, one. Now let's start walking to the front again. One, two. Three, four, five. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly walk back. Slowly keep taking your legs back and back. come back to mountain posture the last one more round with lizard get your knee pad to the left knee so that you're getting your right leg forward open up your shoulder hold 5 4 3 2 1 Now let's move to the elbow down thing. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Take your leg back. Move the knee to the side. Other leg forward. Knee down. open up your chest and slowly drop your one elbow down then the other hold five four <coughs> three two one come back to the palm look up hold five four three two one lift your knee up take your leg back to mountain posture tight stretch to the back and hold 5 4 3 2 let's take a walk to the front please give enough stretch to the back don't try to be comfortable here If you feel like you're getting comfortable then you have to stretch your spine little more up. If you observe these mountain movements thoroughly you can see how I'm trying to get my chest closer to the thighs. Hold 5 4 3 2 1 2 one now bend your knee a little take your leg back and slowly sit back to vajrasana always remember when you give the maximum stretch either forward bend or back bend especially from forward bend when you come back don't come back straight away because your glutes your hamstring would be like completely stretched which is not the normal posture of your body which you roam around every day 
so when you come back out of it so it shouldn't be a surprise so come back with bending your knee which relaxes your hamstring and the glutes and then slowly you can come back so remember this it will be really helpful for you even if you, even though in future when you're trying some deep stretches which could cause you a little bit of a stress in your hamstrings or nerves when you come back suddenly bending your knee will take that away so this is an important thing you can remember now so meanwhile your spine is also little relaxed now from here just little back bend bhujangasan toe pointing out breathe in breathe out this is just to give a counter posture for the forward bending what you just did now come back to center now let's do a pigeon posture get your right or your left leg in between both the palm do not sit in center shift the leg outside and try to be in center exhale drop your hands down get your body weight on the upper uh, upper body weight on the thigh and just like be here stay here for five counts with me close your eyes if possible five four three two one when i'm here sitting i can feel a lot of stretch i want you also to feel the same come back to center now bend your knee hold your ankle from behind slowly pull it towards the thigh hold 3 2 1 and then release lift your body back get your other leg forward push your back leg behind spine straight as you breathe in breathe out drop your hands down and hold Five, four, <clears throat> three, two, one. From here, come back to center. Slowly bend your knee. Hold your ankle from behind. Slowly pull it towards you, and hold five, four, three. Two, one. Slowly released. Lift your knee back. Now don't stretch too much in Parvatasan. Keep it very light and relaxed. Don't over stretch and just hold five, four, three, two, one. Relax. So the last. mountain posture was just to relax your hamstring not really to stress is too much now just drop your knee down we are going to do our favorite split stretch keep your right knee on the knee pad left leg forward quick five times forward and back okay one you all are very well aware of this movement so i won't explain a lot so just practice slowly down Two, down. Three, forward. Four. forward the last one five also we'll try to see how was our flexibility forward now let us take it a little for, further and see where is our split today stretch 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 
you can see that your body would slowly get down even if not then just keep practicing after a few days hold 5 4 3 2 1 slowly come back always remember to stay connected with the floor your hands should not leave the floor when you are trying to do the stretch now the other side now forward stretch 2 change 4 change 5 now take your leg forward slowly step by step and hold 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly come back to center release your hamstrings try to sit back on the heels stretch your hands drop your head down and then slowly come back to center please add few more stretches if at all you like them so i'm doing combination of few movements one day and few movements other day so you don't feel like a lot of stretch and next day you feel too sore i am sure by this time your body would have gotten used to it if you feel there is still any kind of a soreness and pain you can take a break of a day or two but do not drag the break because your body will again go back to the non flexibility stage because you are practicing to reach something a certain level of flexibility let us continue i hope you are feeling better now share your experience with me through comments i'll see you tomorrow